What's up guys, and today we got Team of the Week, Devontae Freeman, 94 overall, Energizer, and Ankle Breaker Chemistry. Now the other day I saw in the comments someone gave me an idea that I should just do mini reviews for the players that I've missed, that way I can speed through more of them, and I agreed that's a great idea, so the next few reviews might be mini reviews, just so I can speed through more of these guys that I missed. So here we go, 5'8", 92 speed, 93 agility, 93 ball carry, 94 juke, 80 truck, 90 carry, 91 excel, and 94 elusiveness. Now on paper, he's very elusive obviously, you see right there the spin, the juke man. On paper, he's got everything you want and even though he's not really much of a power back, should not be, be much of a surprise. Now 92 speed, 91 excel, believe me the guy can absolutely fly, but I don't know if it's his height or what, but I'm assuming, um, assuming <laughs> excuse me, that that's what it is. Cause his strides are definitely shorter than the other the uh, players because sometimes a lot of stuff like this will happen where you think you're gone but they just get you by your uh, shoelace now I don't know why I could not get his juke and spin going man on paper I was very impressed but on the field I just couldn't get his juke and spin going I do not know why and right here as far as the power back believe it or not I was having a bit more success trucking and stiff farming than I was juking and spinning I don't know why I know I'm a bit rusty but I don't think I'm that rusty but that does not mean that everything was a uh, disappointment. This right here, I will admit, this was very impressive. His ability to break tackles, man, did save my few times. Like right here, see, just shed that that uh, tackle and just take off. Now it's not just me because I did see a lot of other people saying that they've had similar um, success with Devontae Freeman in terms of just struggling, you know, not really getting what they thought they would get out of him. But anyways, as far as breaking tackles, as you can see right here, man, pretty decent when it came to doing all that. And this right here was equally impressive. I mean, he took, I would say, maybe 17 hit sticks and maybe 4 or 5 strip animations. Now, unfortunately, he did fumble 3 times. And I know you guys might think that, you know, that's a lot. But when you factor in that he's getting hit by guys like Clowney, by Brian Dawkins, you know, so on and so forth. The fact that he can get hit 17 times and only fumble 3 times, that's really not a terrible percentage, really. And, of course, the most... Uh, cons consistent part of his game was running up the middle. I was getting big chunks of yards at a time with this. He is able to, you know, zigzag really fast, man. His elusiveness, his, his agility, I don't know what it is, but the fact that he can, you know, just cut left and cut right without the uh, turbo button. Of course, make sure you're make sure that you're not holding the turbo button when you do that, when you're running up the middle and uh, trying to zigzag. But anyways, if you want to have success with him consistently, I would say run up the middle like this. You'll fall for, for, for a few extra yards and get more yards that way. So all in all guys, a little disappointing. I was really hoping he'd be able to be like a top 5 back, but I just didn't see it. I'm sorry guys, but if his price ever drops like maybe 120 or 100, then I say go for it. But right now, I just don't think he's worth 200k. But anyways guys, there will not be a video tomorrow because I will not be home tomorrow. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. I'll do my best to drop another video in a couple hours to uh, make up for it. But anyways guys, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, spread awareness, comment to voice your opinion, and subscribe so you'll be up to date with the content when it drops. And I'll see you boys later. Peace.